What's going on guys? Welcome back and today I'm going to be kit bashing myself a quick and easy Venable Dreadnought for my Grey Knight army. Now these steps are interchangeable if you say have uh, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Imperial Fists, so on and so forth. Um, you can, if you have leftover iconography from your core army then you can take these bits and add them on following these very simple steps and it is just as easy as slapping them on wherever you see fit now for this i've used remnant parts of a paladin box the grey knight paladins slash terminators they've got loads of bits in there which is absolutely fantastic for smashing them onto this dreadnought now sim similar prospects that i've done for other vehicles such as my land raider uh, but you could do it to rhinos you could do it to gladiators you could do it to repulsors it doesn't matter it's your model at the end of the day this is just a step by step on how i've done mine if you want to follow please do and before we start the video properly guys if you enjoy my content please like comment and subscribe it all helps me out and it helps me get to a bigger bigger audience because remember if you enjoy it i'm sure someone else out there will enjoy it as well so let's get into it so the first step is the easiest step and that's to be on your lunch and to forget to record certain things because you're an idiot um I, I put on one of the paladin heads or the terminator heads from the gray knight box because they're really i find those are really iconic as part of the gray knight army they've got those amazing head sculpts which i needed to get onto this dreadnought so a real key part to kit bashing and something to always bear in mind is never to glue straight away. Always sort of dry fit, get the part that you want, place it on top of the model and have a look, see how you feel about that. Because you might have this amazing idea of, oh, I'm gonna put this part there and you get to it and you go, oh no, I don't like that. If you don't like it, it's fine. It might work better somewhere else. So. Just because you can't use it in the place you initially thought, you might find somewhere else where you think, ah, actually that looks amazing. Like this Storm Shield that I've got here from the Blade Guard Veterans. Initially what I wanted to do was to have it on the side of the Dreadnought where sort of where it's got like that, either the writing or where, where it's got all the banners. But actually what it looked best place to be was to go at the front of it. So I'm going to carve off this front part because I want to get one of those iconic books with the swords on to put on there. Because that, the Grey Knights are covered in those. They like their books and they like them to be covered in swords. And they definitely like purity seals. So I just spent a little bit of time carving down the front of that shield. And carving out the back of this book with the sword going through it. I've also taken the pole off. So I know it's now going to fit perfectly, so I'm just going to glue it down. I had options of all the other bits that you get out of that kit, but this is the one that I found fitted the best and looked the best in this place. So now I'm just going to get the glue on, and I'm going to add it onto the front of this Dreadnought. You know, so it gives that real look of this is an important character that needs to be protected, and he also, you don't want him coming at you, because he's going to be pretty hard to kill. So I'm back home now, time restrictions off, and I'm going to continue trying to work out where bits this Dreadnought are going to go. As you can see, as I was saying earlier, dry fit, have a look, place them over places. Put them in areas where you're not sure of or where you think it could go until you find that final sitting place where it's going to spend its time. As I found this piece here, I quite liked it on this shoulder. So that's where I decided, yep, yeah, this is where I want my piece to go. So to help it sit right, I'm just going to file it down at the back and you choose the side that I don't want showing it and have the side that I want showing it. So I want that uh, relic sword on display, not the three skulls. So I'm going to get rid of those. And once I'd stuck it in place, I did then take it off a little bit later and put it back on because I found a, be a piece that made it fit a bit more flusher to the dreadnoughts. I forgot that it has those extra bits of side armor. So... You know, just because it's there doesn't mean it has to stay there, but, you know, it remained in the same place, just on a panel where it sitted a lot flusher. Okay, and so in in normal rig fashion, you may, might have noticed that I've done a couple more things, which, again, I've forgotten to film. 
if this is your first video, it's not normally this bad. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I hope it's not. Um, but yeah, if you've got to know me by now, I do these things. I'm not that great. <laughs> Anyway, I've put one of the books with the cross swords at the top where the smoke lord just normally go, and I've also in his power fist I've put um, I've put a demon skull, uh, which is what just what I'm doing at the back. I've put another book on the back. I'm just putting another demon skull onto that book, um, which is falling off just there. But you, you get the picture. <laughs> so again, it's just getting. This is a really simple kit bash. It's adding things from one box to another box that are just so simple. It's so minimum effort that anyone can do this, which is why I say if you've got key iconography from your army and you've got something like a Dreadnought or whatever that you want to add into your army, these are so simple and then they make them so unique that you know no one else is going to have a Dreadnought like this. And if you go and do, say, a land raider, you know, no one else will have a land raider like yours. You've got that one. It goes in your army. It's your dreadnought. It's your land raider. It's your bloody, I don't know, warlord, bloody titan. Doesn't matter. Make them yours with just simple things like this. And now it's that favourite time for any Space Marine chapter anywhere in the 40k verse purity seals yes that's right the grey knights love them some purity seals so what i've done is i've cut loads of them off and i'm just going to absolutely smother this bad boy if i can find a surface that i can put a purity seal on i'm going to smash it on there so once i've done that i'm going to paint it up and there we go it's ready for my battle tomorrow josh you hear me I'm coming at you with two dreadnoughts this time, not just the one. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching my dumb ass talk about converting and painting up this model. Thanks for watching, and I really do hope to see you in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.